lovely people. Welcome to Watch Me Wednesday on Friday. <laughs> um, yeah, wow. Hasn't it been hot? Hasn't it been hot, hot, hot this week if you are in the UK? Um, yeah, so sorry about cancelling on Wednesday. And in fact, yesterday was way hotter than even Wednesday. Um, so it's been a very, very hot and humid week here in the UK. And just the thought of sort of 28, 30 degrees with hot lights on me, making it even hotter, just Wednesday was just out of the question, just out of the question. Um, so I have moved, watch me Wednesday, to Facebook Friday, if you like. Um, and so hello, hello and welcome to the show. Here we are, <laughs> another week, another week already. Um, so what am I going to do today? I thought um, I'll go over a few things very quickly um, and then um, as I have been sharing the Come Sail Away products this week um, and you, if you're sitting there going, has she? Has she been doing that? If you look on my blog, I had a video and a, car, a video of card and a blog post update on Monday. So my blog is www.natalieoshea.com co.uk if you don't know who I am because my Facebook live has just come up on your feed then hello welcome this is me my name is Natalie O'Shea I live in the UK and I represent a company called Stamping Up it's an American company it's a paper craft company and I'm here to show you how to make a card today and it's a fun fold card it's something a little bit different it's one of the swaps that I recently received on the incentive trip that I went on the week before last that already seems like a million miles away um, hi Chrissy, I've got somebody joining me now, so I know I'm a bit weird, <laughs> or, or I know I'm weird anyway, but weird, weird on a weird time. Um, so yes, so everything that you see, um, I say that the blog post on Monday, I've been updating my Facebook page with some of the products, videos from Stamping Up, showing you all this, a great sweet come sail away come sail away and uh, you've got pattern paper you've got stamp sets you've got dies you've got trinket embellishments you've got um make memories of more cards to add to cards to make easy and quick cards and all sorts um, and as you can see across the screen there you can get them all at www.natalieoshea.stampingup.net hi jan welcome so i'll stick that across the bottom there um, and yes, we're just going to go through some quick quick things, really. Um, it's been going on all month. If you're on my newsletter, then you will receive um, them as well. Um, if you're not on my newsletter, then once I finish this video, or if you're watching on YouTube, you can see the um, in the comments below, you can sign up for a weekly tutorial newsletter. Um, so you get the joys of these as well. So... Um, what have I got to tell you? What have I got to tell you? So stamping up at the moment this this month and um, we only have not very long left So not even a full week left um, till the end of next Wednesday um, We have whereby if you spend 45 pounds at the moment you get a four pound fifty Voucher to spend in August for, for nothing. So if you were thinking of spending 45 pounds anyway, then what's not to love about four pound fifty free next month? Let's have a look. Uh, Chrissy's sister's been telling me about the awful heat you're getting. Chrissy, where are you from? Are you from Oz? I know I get a lot, lots of Aussies. And Karen and Linda, hi everybody. <laughs> I'm a, I was gonna sound a bit earlier. I'm not a bit earlier, I'm normal time. I was thinking about going a little bit earlier today, but um, time has run away with me, of course. But there we go. Um, so yes, so if you spend £45, if you spend £90, you get £9, so it's an increment of £45, so if you spend more, the more you spend, the more you get to free to spend next month. Um, so yes, that's, that's that one, and you've only got another, another few days, say, till the end of next Wednesday to do that. Um, we've also got our promotion on at the moment, our extra, extra promotion, which if you think that doing what I do could be fun, or you think that just having a class at home with a few friends and family might be fun, um, then come and join us. Come and join the gang. We have, we are the fun, fun, fun team. <laughs> and we're also the highest performing team in the UK as well. When Stamping Up announced their awards last year, when they announced the top 10 demonstrators who had the best overall businesses, so it wasn't just sales strong or recruiting strong or anything like that. Um, when the overall business, four of us were in the top 10 in the UK. So um, we do have a lot of fun. We are very easy going, um, but we achieve too. We achieve too. So if you're looking at earning incentive trips, full-time salaries, all things like that, um, then now's the time to come and join us. Um, we have the autumn winter catalogue going live in September, but if you join in August, you can pick products from the autumn winter catalogue that isn't even released yet. 
<laughs> so if you're a Christmas fanatic or perhaps you're just a seasonal crafter as well and you like you just craft at Christmas um, then now is the time to join so normally you get £130 worth of goodies for £99 but oh no not at the moment you can pick £155 worth of whatever you want from the catalogue current catalogue if you join in July autumn winter catalogue and current catalogue if you join in August. So pick £155, anything you want, it's up to you, it's not a set kit. Um, and then you'll also get an £8 voucher to spend later on as well. So what's not to love about that? What's not to love about that? If you like getting a discount off your, off your products and you're a little bit of a craft maniac um, or, or you've got a bit of a craft shopping habit, then come and join us. I've just realised, I've just... Uh, there we go. <laughs> so yes, so that's on at the moment. So hi, Ali and Polo. Um, so yes, that, that's all really to tell you about at the moment. Um, as I say, we're all getting excited. As demonstrators, we can order the new autumn winter goodies from the 1st of se the first September. That's a complete lie. 1st of August. Now, obviously, I was lucky enough to get some of the um, new products. I haven't had, even had a chance to play yet. I haven't even had a chance to play. It's been too hot this week. But um, right. Let's get on with it. So I'm going to swap my screen, swap my screen round, and show you what we're going to do today. So when I showed you my swaps last week, I had a lot of comments about this card here. So it looks, you know, looks quite plain at the front, doesn't it? Very masculine, but dun dun dun. Look at that. How cool is that? It kind of reminds me. You know those things you used to have that you used to put your fingers in and do that. Oh, it's a bit close and do that with at school. It's almost like a little bit of one of those. Um, but it's good, it's just a little bit of fun, good for a mail card. Um, this is obviously in German, and the lady has used a magnet. Now, I don't have these magnets, so my version, and what we're gonna do today, has got a belly band. So very similar, but I've used pattern paper instead of plain paper there, and <laughs> mine's in English. Um, and I've got a belly band that goes around it instead. But I do kind of wanna put some pattern paper on that now. It's a bit plain, or stamp it. So we might change that as we go along. But this is what we're going to make. So I'm going to show you how to make this, because it does look quite complicated. And honestly, it's not. <laughs> it's not that complicated at all. Hi, Bridget. <laughs> so what I should probably say as well, which I've forgotten to say, oh, I'm all a little bit carried away. It's already a bit warm here today. Um, is that if you leave me a comment on here, then I enter all the comments into a drawer. I have a random number generator. So next Wednesday morning, so actually not so long this time. So if you're watching on a replay, you haven't missed out unless you're watching after the 31st of July. Um, so if you leave a comment, then you go into the um, my num random number generator. Um, it generates a number, I count down the comments, and that comment wins. Um, a little good some goodies. So I've already contacted Helen, who won these sequins last week. These were self adhesive sequins. Gotta love a self adhesive sequin. So much easier than ones that cling everywhere. Um, so Helen, these are coming to you. Thank you. I've just seen your address come through, so I'll get those to you. So what can you win this time? So this time I'm going for some pattern party decorative masks. So if you like a bit of paste through cards, or you can ink through these as well. You don't have to spread stuff through them. But you've got some patterns here. So a lovely sort of mandala there. A brick, which is always good. Some clouds. Oh, you have a little bit like, need to move you up a bit, don't I? Look, let's move up. And then a kind of diamond pattern as well. So as I say, so you can ink through these with a sponge or a brayer. You can wipe in a bossing paste through them um, to make a kind of 3D dimensional um, pattern. Um, you can do all sorts of things. You don't have to do the whole thing. Um, they're six by six. Um, and you can just, if you just wanted that cloud there, you could just ink that cloud there. Um, if you only wanted a corner or a certain section of that brick wall, then you could do that as well. So that is what um, you could win by just leaving me a comment. And you can leave as many comments as you like. If you leave 100 comments, then we'll, you'll have 100 chances of winning those next week. If you share this video um, and click the share button, and um, then you've done that, then again, leave a comment saying that you've shared it, and that's another comment that will get you in the drawer to win those. So pattern party decorative masks. Um, and congratulations, Helen, on winning last week's. So right, let's get on with it, shall we? Shall I move myself a bit further down again? Right. Now, I have done a bit of Blue Peter here because I thought we could, but we might be here all day. It's honestly not that complicated. Oh, look, it's, it's so complicated, I can't even pick it all up at the moment. 
There we go. So look, all my bits and bobs are done here. <laughs> right, let's move these. So the first things I want to tell you, so I've made mine as a four inch square card. And you need two pieces of card to make these cards. So if you're working in metric, this is 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters. If you are working in um, inches, then it, oh God, what is it? It's gonna be four by eight, eight by four. Yeah, so it's double, it's double, that's it. So eight by four inches or 20 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And then you want to just score it twice. So this one piece of card, score it twice. So if you're centimetres, you want to score it at five centimetres and 15. And if you're inches, you want to score it at two inches and six inches. So this bit is a square in the middle. So this is your gatefold. This is this piece here, basically. And you can see a score line there and a score line there. And we're just going to fold those in to create our outside score, um, outside gatefold card. So that's what you need to start with. And let's, because here's, here's one I did earlier. So there it is. Can you see it there? I don't know if you can see the score marks. I think you can just about see that. So I just use my trimmer. So I'm a bit of a trimmer girl. So you can use the scoreboard. You can use a ruler and a phone folder like this or a stylus. Um, I am a trimmer girl. So I put this in my trimmer and trimmed that. And then just for my nice firm folds, I like a bone folder. And there you go. Now it should, if you've done it all right, there we go. There is our outside card. Ta da Simple as that. Then it gets a little bit more complicated. <laughs> then you want another piece of card, and it's exactly the same size. So eight inches, let's move it up a bit, eight inches by four inches, or 20 centimetres by 10 centimetres. And then you need to do all this scoring. So it's, it looks complicated, but honestly, it's not. So you're going to do exactly the same as you did for the first piece of card. So five centimetres and 15 centimetres or two inches or six inches and just score like that. Then the easiest thing I found to do, you want to find the centre point of these. So this is either going to be the 10 centimetre point or four inches, depending on what you're doing. So go in and just mark a little mark at the centre of that because then you're going to be scoring from this down to that point, from this down to that point, from this to that point and this to that point. So looks complicated, it's not and it's all quite big figures, we're, you know, nice round figures, we're not talking about points of it, centimetres or eighths of inches or anything like that. So let me leave that there for a minute, in fact I might even bring it up a little bit. So can you see that? Let's see. Hi everyone joining. So hopefully you can see that and that transfers once you've scored. Can you see those? I think you can, look at that. You score it like that. And then obviously get rid of your marks. So just to go back over that again, one piece of card like that, one piece of card like that. There we go. Okay, so now which way do we score this? I've got to remember, I've got to get this right now. So this is the opposite way. So whereas for the gatefold you went inwards, I'm actually going to do these the other way. So it's outwards, but it looks inwards the way I'm doing it. So they are that way. So they kind of go up, so you get a bit like that. But all the other ones are the opposite way. So again, use the bone folder to reinforce those folds. Or scissors or whatever it is you use to make your fingernails. Some people use this. <laughs> I always leave nail varnish if I do that. So there we go. And that's it. So you can see these pits come up. And what you're going to be doing is that. So what I also do is then give it a good fold like that. Now, is it starting to look like that now? <laughs> you know, the old movie things around. So, it goes into a diamond and folds out like that. So, these folds, mountain fold, those folds, valley fold. So, two mountains and everything else, valley, if that makes sense to you. To be fair, once you've scored it one way, if it's wrong, you just score it the other way. It's no big deal. 
Um, it won't go wrong as such until you've got that there. So what I want to do, so you only stick these two triangles. That's all you stick. You don't stick anything else down, not even this big back piece. So just glue on there and glue on there. So it can get a little bit messy. And I was using Tombow liquid just because it gives me a bit of wiggle room. That's all. So you know I love a bit of Tombow because it gives me a bit of wiggle room. So don't put too much on there. So I'm going to do that one first. And I'm looking at putting this line onto there so as I say that wiggle room I kind of put it where I think it should go and then when I'm hanging off the edge I can just wiggle it a little there's a song there isn't there wiggle it just a little bit or am I showing my age there <laughs> so there we go so you can see look there we're edge to edge there's no real border and we just like that this is all loose and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side so again a little bit of Tombow Whoop. and ooh, right. there's my wiggle room so just lining it up and again just applying pressure to that bit there how easy is that Ta -da! I can stop now can't I <laughs> there you go that is the basis of your card as you say this middle bit, see, look, you can go right down there. Oh, well, you can. You can see what I mean. Look, woo, put my hand right through it. <laughs> there you go. So nothing is stuck down, just those two there. And that's the crux of it. So the rest of it is just decoration, really. So I have cut a load of bits out. So again, because I knew you wouldn't want me to sit here and uh, uh, do all this. Well, you wouldn't want to sit there while I cut it all out. So everything is just half a centimetre smaller than these panels here. So I've got a nice even border going round. So I chose, I might choose lighthouses. Let's go different. Let's make this one slightly different. We'll go lighthouses. So this paper is the Come Sail Away. Oh, my glue's running out. Um, Come Sail Away, designer series paper. So it's double-sided. It comes in six by, uh, no, it doesn't. It comes in 12 by 12. I've just cut mine to six by six. So let's go lighthouses, and we need to make sure our lighthouses are the right way up. But there we go, leave a nice even white border. Oh, nearly had upside down lighthouses again. Whee! There we go. So I should have even borders. There you go. Phew, they're up the right way. And then I had, so these are six and a half centimeters each. For these the centre bit and these two halves. So these two halves, when I say halves, it was a hole, so it was another six and a half by six and a half square. I just cut in half, and this pattern doesn't matter so much because it can go upside down or any way, any which way you like. Um, and so I've picked these patterns. So we'll stick those on. So remember that six and a half centimeters. I should probably measure. And it just leaves a tiny border again through. And I've got that little bit of wiggle room there as well. There we go, perfect. And again. Concentration of having to get this right. Right, now I've got to make sure this is not the right way. Ish. I mean, it's at a diagonal, so it's not too bad. But so let me just check what six and a half is in inches. If you're doing it in inches, it's two and a half. Well, that's quite easy. We'll just be about two and a half. Two and a half inches um, for this, if you're doing the inches one. So this doesn't matter about what size card you have. So whether you are on US legal size, whether you are on A5, European and South Pacific size, it doesn't matter because it's not a kind of standard card size. And obviously you can change this. Um, you can make it bigger. It's a square card here. So you could do a six by six one. Um, or 15 by 15 um, or whichever you like and you just when you've done this bit just measure how big you need your squares to be and your triangles to be and you're all good so let's go I might go let's go opposites so I'll do my sentiment on the outside so this I've stamped I did get it all here ready to stamp again but this is the sailing home stamp set so I've used this compass image here um, and this sentence 
sentiment there set sail in the direction of your dreams i quite like that it's good graduations are going on at the moment um new jobs things like that perhaps new homes anything like that but it's also quite a masculine set and i know that people struggle to make masculine cards which is what obviously this is today but you've got lighthouses and sailboats and anchors and knots and all things like that in there as well so that's all good and then i just cut these out with um punches but obviously if you have um dies so circular dies or anything like that so i used a one and a half inch circle punch and a one and three quarter inch circle punch now actually our one and three quarter inch circle punch is retired now shamefully but we do have like layering circle dies so you could pick one of those out as well so the same for these now i say the same to be hmm. <laughs> hmm now these little sections here are actually smaller so these are four and a half centimeter squares and then just cut diagonally in quarters so i liked this pattern paper just a nice stripe um yes i've really got to sit there and stick all these on while you're waiting so um so what do you think let's talk amongst ourselves while you're watching me stick all these circle uh, circles all these triangles in you like it? Is it a lot easier than you thought it might be? Did you think it was overly complicated like I did when I first looked at it? And then went, oh, actually, this isn't too bad. This is quite easy. I think the joys of origami make things a lot easier. So, here we go. Let's... And you can lay it flat as well. So just a very small border again on that so four and a half centimeter i keep wanting to say circles triangles you can see i'm concentrating because i'm talking less <laughs> no, i can't work out where to go come on oh still quite warm it's getting warmer here again today these lights aren't helping to be fair but there we go so there's that section all done and then a few more. Du -dum, du -dum. Not very good at putting them on straight to start with, am I? The concentration of squares and triangles on a Friday when it's starting to warm up. Is, oh no, don't do that. Phew. So a good, good card, good card for men. As I say, people struggle with men's cards, but equally, it could be any pattern paper, it could be any image in the centre, oh, look at me upside down, um, it could be anything you like in this, it could be made very girly. So, next I've taken a piece of Whisper White cards, this is thick Whisper White that I'm um, dealing with here. I'm just reading some of the comments there. So hello, those of you that have joined me. Um, looks cute. Your reserve judgment on how difficult it is. Honestly, Sandy, it is. It is easy. It's as easy as I've just made it look. Because it's to say, you're not talking about half centimetres or point eighths of centimetres. You're not talking about eighths and sixteenths of inches. Honestly, it is easy. It's easy. Um, but what I will do is I will link my blog post that I haven't written yet, but by the time um, you, if you're watching this on replay, give me till later this afternoon, I will put all these. And, I, and in fact, I'll, what I'll do is I'll put these on my blog as well. Um, so if you haven't caught the sort of dimensions, um, then I will photograph these and add them on there. And I might even put some instructions on there as well um but i'll add the video um of this as well but yeah so if you haven't got magnets so great if you have got magnets i think they're great the little um crafting magnets and if you have those that's perfect it keeps it shut quite happily um and i should probably say yes sonia schulter german demonstrator made that that was whose card it was originally um and then what i do is i well i'm gonna put that in the middle so belly bands need to be Tight enough that they don't fall down, like baggy knickers. <laughs> of course, I haven't got any. Um, but uh, loose enough that they come off again as well. So I I'd kind of, and I'm going to be, I always put the link, rather than wrapping it around and doing it at the back, I always put the join at the front, especially when you know you're going to be covering this with something. So I would kind of do that. I know it's going to overlap, but it should overlap. Cool, I'm pushing it here. 
I'm pushing it a little bit there. Okay, so I have got this very slight overlap. So in fact, I'd probably do it a little bit tight, longer than this. I want to say this was 21 centimetres, which it was. So it's just a strip straight across the A4 paper. If you are inching it, then it's eight and a quarter inches. But I would do a little bit more. So I'd do eight and a half inches and I'd do probably 22 inches just to make it not quite, because that is a little bit, little bit tight. Oh, can you see that? I'm off the camera there. So you can see I've just got a tiny sliver. And what I'm actually going to do is, and I think that's too thin for just some wet glue. I'm going to put a bit of tape on it, actually. She says. So, oh, let's put that out there. Because it's only a very tiny overlap. So if I can find the end of that. So this is just our tear and tape. So it's quite easy, as the name suggests, to stick it on. And tear it off. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. So that's got paper on at the moment, so it won't stick. So just peel off the layer. And again, I'm going to cover this. So if a little bit of um, sticky pokes out, which by the looks is going to, in fact, I'm going to bring the card back in so I don't do it too tight. Oh, kitty cat's just come in. There we go. So I've got a little bit of overlap of that tape, but I'm not worried because, as I say, it's going to. Oh, come on. Ooh, there we go. That's going to be covering it anyway. So I'm going to stick a dimensional on there so it pops or two. There we go. Whoop. Right. In fact, I'm not going to stick it. I did want to put. Oh, no, don't worry. So you could obviously put pattern paper along here. Um, so you could do a strip of pattern paper in the middle. You could stamp it before you did it, but again, I've not done it, have I? And I've made this. Oh. So I have a pussycat who's down there who sits there and thinks that if he constantly hits the cat flap, that's, that's him ringing the dinner bell. It's like, Mum, I want my lunch, please. Come on, it's lunchtime, and I would like feeding. <laughs> and so he's just doing that. Of course, because something always happens while I'm doing my Facebook lives. So, oh, there we go. There we go. What do we think of that? So again, you could stamp, you could put a strip of pattern paper, anything you liked along there. In fact, I still do want to. <laughs> is, is that bad that I still do want to put a bit of pattern paper along there? Now, so I've got little packs of six by six here. Um, but... I don't know how, much, how big was that? That was, oh, an inch, so two and a half centimetres. Um, so if that's two and a half centimetres, then I'm going to do a two centimetre Ooh, strip. Let's just quickly do that. Because I do think it's missing. It's kind of white like that, can you? Look at that, that looks good. Now, if it was longer than six by six, you could just put it in there and you could wrap it all the way around. But because this is six by six, I'm just going to put a little bit there and in fact mark that. In fact, let's do there, that might be lighter. So I'm just putting it there, I'm marking it there. Ooh. And let's put that bit there. Oh, it can poke to about there. I'm just going to use scissors because it's only a little bit to cut. Can I cut straight? That's the question. So, this should, should <laughs> stick, and it just brings it in, brings in a little bit more of the dark colour as well, because it's quite balmy blue, so we're bringing in a bit of night of navy. So, I'm just going to poke those, there we go, in there. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Because there's dimensionals there! Oh, no! Ugh. Right. See? Crafting on the go. There we go. That looks better. Let's make sure that. So, even border, even by hand, or by eye. Is that, how's that going to go? Hmm, that's not too bad. I might just need to trim a little bit off because of my dimensionals. So, obviously, if you'd done this properly before you'd stuck that on, you wouldn't be having this issue, like I am. But you can still do it. 
And then of course you could put strips around the back. You could decorate this back panel as well. It's entirely up to you. But that looks a bit better, doesn't it? How about that? Oh dear. Right, what do we think? What do we think? Do you like that? Is much easier than it looks, Carol. Absolutely. I make it look easy, Paula, because it is. Everything is easy when you know how. So, <laughs> so let's bring in the original card. So that was the original one. That's my, my version of it. Um, great men's card, as I say, easily um, enlarged. So if this is a bit of a dinky card for you, so it's like a four by four um, or a 10 by 10 centimetres, um, then just, just make it bigger. Six by six cards are good. Even eight by eight you could go if you really want to. But um, I've dropped off the page. I know, I'm really sorry. I kind of go, I'm, I go like that. Um, but hopefully you can see it now. So give me a thumbs up or a heart if you love that. But super easy and as I say, Whilst this is a masculine card as such, um, it might not be. You might have a friend who lives by a lighthouse or loves lighthouses or anything like that, and that might be applicable for them. So it doesn't have to be a male card. And obviously today we're just about showing you how to make the card, and you can do whatever you want. So back to me. Oh, see, look, I'm getting all hot now. My hair's starting to go curly. For those of you who don't know, um, I have naturally ringlet curly hair. Yes, I straighten my hair every day. And so when it gets all a little bit hot, it all starts going zing. And it's very humid, very humid here today. Um, looks like it's going to rain, in fact, because my washing's on the line. Um, <laughs> but there you go. That's what I've got for you today. It was super quick, I have to say. I mean, I did do a lot of Blue Peter. Here's some squares that I cut earlier. Um, but yeah, I loved it. I thought, phew, at least that's not as hard as it looks. <laughs> um, but thank you for the inspiration Sonia from Germany and um, I hope you liked it but that's all I'm going to kind of leave you with today I'll be back again next Wednesday so we should be back to Wednesday as long as it's not um, melting weather here although it is a little bit here like this today um, but yes don't forget if you want to order any of this stuff you can find it on my website all the links will be below once I've had a chance to edit it or if you're watching it on YouTube then again um, all the links will be below. If you don't like my Facebook page presently, then give us a little like and Facebook will tell you when I go live each week. And if you're watching the replay on face, uh, YouTube <laughs> um, and you don't subscribe to my channel, then just hit subscribe and again when I upload videos, which I do Monday. So Monday is now our uh, video day and the Facebook lives I upload on YouTube as well. So if, if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll get notified when the Monday videos go up as well. So Monday I tend to case the catalogue. So there's um, examples all in the catalogue. It's an idea book and catalogue. Um, and so I case one of those because people sort of say, well, what have they done there? How have they done that? What colours have they used? Things like that. So I go through the catalogue and pick out cards to um, replicate and show you how they're made and then obviously we have our normal watch me wednesday which today is facebook friday um which is just something different so there we go so i'm gonna leave you there looks perfect you can't wait to give it a trial though i don't have that set but it's adaptable very adaptable sandy you just literally need white card and anything you like so anything that where you can put a central image so on here oh, no hang on that way um, so anything you can put a central image so you don't have to have circles this could be a butterfly could be a bird, it could be a rectangle, it could be anything you wanted it to be. So anything will go on there. Um, and again, in the centre, then um, again, as long as it's small enough to go in the centre, can be whatever it wants. It could be any sentiment on a rectangle or anything like that. So absolutely very adaptable with different papers and things like that. So right, it would be good for Christmas. Yes, little, little there you go. So Christmas papers, somebody say the Christmas word in July. <laughs> right. That's it. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to thank you for watching. Don't forget that you can shop for these at www.natalieoshea.stampinup.net. But only if you are in the UK, Germany, France, Austria or the Netherlands. Um, so same applies for the prizes as well. If you are commenting, I can only send to those countries as well. Um, <laughs> but there you go. Right. I'm going to leave you there. Thank you for joining me. I will see you all again next Wednesday. Thanks. Bye.